I want to move on to something, of course, less important than the horrific massacre we saw in Israel. But it's still, a, nevertheless, an important issue because it does also involve people's safety and, in particular, women's safety. Um, J.K. Rowling, uh, I think some, someone of a hero for both of us, as someone who's standing up for women's rights and for just, well, frankly, sanity and biological reality, has uh, uh, been under fire herself uh, many times over recent years for uh, uh, basically pointing out that trans women are not women. Um, no hate. No transphobia, nothing, but simply a statement of, of fact. Uh, she has hit out yesterday against uh, Labour's Shadow International Development Secretary, Lisa Nandy, over her stance on uh, trans issues. This after Lisa Nandy had said that she wanted to fight uh, for um, every woman around the world in her new role, and she said that uh, she wanted to embolden and empower women and girls in every part of the world. To so this, the Harry Potter author hit back, accusing her of being one of the biggest reasons why women don't trust Labour to defend their rights, because Lisa Nandy has said that trans women, uh, i.e., you know, men, are women, and if a, someone is convicted of a serious sex assault or a rape of a woman, if a man says, actually, I'm really a woman, they should be allowed to be uh, imprisoned in a women's uh, prison. What do you make of that, Ralph? Well, Lisa Nandy is clearly a nincompoop. Um... <laughs> She clearly, I mean, she's either so stupid as to not understand biological reality and doesn't know what a penis is um, or thinks it's some mysterious organ that can sprout anywhere, or she's simply willing to lie. It's one of the two. She's either criminally stupid or just willing to engage in a lie. I suspect, I don't think Lisa Nandy is stupid. I suspect it's the second. She's willing to engage in a lie. And the problem is, is that whenever you engage in a lie, you end up getting caught in it and you have to end up defending it. And you defend it even to the utmost absurdity of allowing somebody in prison with a penis to go into a women's ward and rape women. Uh, so, again, it's, it's, slightly, it's slightly linked to our previous discussion. I want consequences for that. I think there should be a political price to pay. This is not a victimless issue. Yeah. There are women who have actually been sexually assaulted in British prisons by male prisoners. And the fact that people like Nandy think it's more important that they sustain their ridiculous lie than to protect women simply tells us everything about them. But you know what, Julia? I'm so tired of this discussion because I'm so tired of having to go at the slowness that Lisa Nandy and others are making us go at. It's 2023. We do not have to pretend in magical beliefs. We do not have to flatter people who uh, suffer some kind of mistaken belief about themselves. Just because somebody says that they are, they're a unicorn does not mean we have to pretend they're a unicorn. We have work to do. We have serious stuff to do in a country like Britain. We cannot go at the speed of the slowest kid in the class or the biggest liar in the class. I celebrate and massively uh, am grateful to J.K. Rowling for, for being willing to be one of the outstanding women that we have in Britain, like yourself, if I can say so, Julia, who Very simply kind. stick by the <laughs> facts. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just that simple, isn't it? Douglas Murray, it has been a pleasure. It's absolute joy listening to you, uh, everything you have to say. I can imagine our audience has just been nodding along, just as uh, Charlie Rowley and I have in the studio. Uh, Douglas Murray, thank you so much for joining us, a best-selling author and, uh, and uh, uh, writer. Thank you so much. I hope you'll come on again soon. Thank you for your time. It'll be a pleasure.